Okay, so now what we did is I told you to choose a scale and then on this side I started at 18 and I went to 24 based on my data and this side I started at, I actually decided to start at 280 and I ended at 360 on my um, x-axis I went up in increments of 10 and on my y-axis it worked perfectly just to go up in increments of 1. So now I'm going to plot my data. All right. So I want you to take your graph, um, correct it if your scale does not work, and then I want you to take your graph and I want you to plot your data. Now we are ready to finally plot our data and discuss what we found out. Okay, so I went ahead and highlighted in yellow because I've got a lot going on here. For my temperature one right here, I have 279 Kelvin. That needs to be plotted with 18.75. So that's gonna be approximately here. And then for my next piece of data, I'm gonna plot 298.8, so 299 with 19.75. 299 is about here, 19.75, about there. And then with my next one, I'm going to plot 311, which is we're going to round to 312 with 20.75. 312 is about here with 20.75. About here. And then my next one is um, 327.2. We're going to just round down to 327 with 21.75. 327 would be about here. 327 with 21.75. 327 with 21. Point, about here. And then, last but not least, I have um, 353 with 23.25. So 23.25 is about here, and I'm gonna do that with 353. 353 is about here, right there. Now that looks like a pretty good straight line, and obviously we've got some issues with my um, cram together scale. If we were at school, we could do this on our LabQuest software, but we're not at school. So I'm going to go ahead and place this line right about there. And wow. I feel extremely happy. Why? Because look at that. Charles Law says that the relationships between volume and temperature is a constant. So it's a direct relationship. As one goes up, the other goes down. It's a constant, sorry. That's, um, as one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes down, the other goes down. That's what makes the direct relationship. And therefore, when I plot it, I should have a straight line like this with a positive slope, and I did. So um, let's draw another smiley face. I'm extremely happy right now. How's that for kitchen science, guys? Great job, good for us. Okay, you guys finish your graph and go ahead and upload it to your OneNote pages under homework. And I'll see you soon. Bye.